Hey, I'm Scott Lawton with the Philadelphia Flyers, and you're watching Snow the Goalie. We would now like to welcome into Snow the Goalie, Flyers forward Scott Lawton. Scott, thanks for taking the time to join us here on the program. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So, nine games in a row you guys have won now, and that's, I mean, that's not a number that you should be taking lightly, but you guys have done this in the recent past as well. I mean, you won eight in a row last season, and you won ten in a row back in 2016. Mm-hmm. But yet, this feels different, doesn't it? I mean, you know, it, it really does. And, and I think it's more than just because you're at the top of the standings. If I had to ask you, you know, as a player in that locker room, what's different about it this time around? I don't think we're chasing as much. I think uh, in the past, I, I feel like we go on these winning streaks and we're not making um, as much uh, of a improvement in the standings, I think. And, and uh, we've kind of been... Um, towards the bottom uh, and haven't had good starts in the past and then we put together a winning streak and we're and we're right. chasing so um, this year is obviously um, we've been pretty consistent in our game and and uh, we found ways to win and um, it, it's nice to go on a streak like this but at the same time you got to stay in the moment and and uh, uh, realize uh, what kind of game you're playing and it's it's been unique in how you guys have won these games like every game it seems like it's a different style almost like I look at the game against Buffalo it's probably you guys would probably admit not your greatest game but Mm -hmm. Carter plays awesome in net Uh, but there's also other games where you play physical like against Washington or you just dominate puck possession and you you know outshoot the other team Mm -hmm. is it just a matter of we can play any style and let the game dictate what that style is and we'll take it from there? Yeah, I think so. And I think we've done a, a really good job of, of adjusting mid-game and, and uh, when we aren't playing well, we know it. And uh, obviously didn't have our best game against Buffalo, but like you said, Hartsey comes up huge and, and you need that at this time of year. I right. think uh, points are so key and um, every, every uh, team in our division is, is uh, fighting for a spot. So. Um, it's it's been a lot of fun and, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun down the stretch. We talked about this a couple games ago in the locker room um, about you personally about how things have kind of changed for you this year. And you, you said you've been feeling good since I guess right when you came back from the groin injury or was finger, it finger, finger injury. injury. It was a finger yeah. injury, right? Yeah. Um, but yet you also talked about how you really started to feel this way a little bit last year when mm-hmm. Scott Gordon get, really kind of gave you an opportunity. Yeah. Do you think it was really that? What it took was just the opportunity to have more responsibility and to and to play more to really kind of jumpstart you to be the player that you're that yeah. you've been recently. Yeah, I think so. And I think um, obviously uh, confidence pay, plays a huge factor in that. And um, once you're playing more minutes, you, you start to um, feel the puck a little bit more. You start making more plays and. Um, i just uh, very thankful that when Gordo came in, I, I was put in a, a role where um, I could try and do that stuff. So um, I think it takes a while to, to learn this league and, and uh, get used to it. And, yeah. and it's tough. It's the best league in the world for, for a reason. But um, yeah, I struggled there a little bit early on in my career and just uh, tried to keep working hard and, and find a way where um, I could stick. Lappy used to say, and I think you were part of the summer programs when he was kind of running it back then before he was an assistant coach but he used to say that for a young player it's about finding your chair like that mm-hmm. there are so many chairs mm-hmm. and like only three guys can take those front row chairs and then you have to find where yours fits in yeah and he says it's hard for a young guy to really mm-hmm. identify what you know what chair he needs yeah. to sit in is that kind of what you're talking about yeah. like when you were younger and not not knowing it and now all of a sudden you sit there and say oh i found it and it's mm-hmm. man this chair is like a recliner it's really yeah. kind of comfortable for yeah. me no <laughs> it's it's been uh He's right. I, I think you have to find um, things that work for you that, that are going to keep you around. And, and uh, I think I just try and stay consistent in my game, try and bring the same thing every night, and um, hopefully it works out. But, yeah, it's been uh, – It's I always say it, it's hard to make the NHL. It's harder to stay. And, and uh, once you once you do that, get comfortable. And um, it's a little easier when your team's winning and, and everything's going the right way. But um, it's been a, a lot of fun. Now, there's something i got to dive into with you just a little bit. Mm-hmm. We had TK on yeah. last month, and we say, asked him, you know, what it's like about being because like, he's a pest, and mm-hmm. not a lot of guys like him around the league. Whichever, that, that's fine. And we asked him, you know, why that is, and he says, well, you might be a little bit mouthy. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, okay, well, do you do research, and you know, what are you going to say to guys? And he said, no, to be honest with you, I get it all from Lawton. Mm-hmm. He says, I, I probably get in trouble more often saying something I've heard Lawton say about a guy, but I just say it right to his face. Mm-hmm. Uh, he called you like the best chirper on the team. Is that mm-hmm. fair? What do you think? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I talk probably the most uh, yeah. 
probably the most, but yeah, I, uh, gets me involved in the game and, and, uh, you saw it a little bit in that Ottawa game, but sometimes it comes back and, and bites you, but, um, it, it keeps me active in the game and, um, just trying, I don't know, get on guys and, um, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. uh, TK, TK is good. We, we got a couple of good guys that, uh, that can dish it out and, um, kind of just part of the game and, and how it runs. A couple questions off of that. First of all, before I get into like what, how you can, let me ask you this first. Do you prepare? For that, by any stretch, man, like, do you know you're playing a certain team? Like, oh well, this guy, you know, but you don't have to give me specifics, but mm-hmm. like, oh, this guy, we know we can get under his skin a little bit. Yeah. Here's some stuff we could say about him, or is it just something that's kind of, you know, organic that comes yeah. out of the play? Yeah, it's in the moment, I think. Yeah. And, um, you know a bunch of the guys from from playing around, and and I've been here for a little bit, but uh, there's certain guys that. Uh, <laughs> Kind of we go back and forth with, but uh, yeah, uh, sometimes a little research, but uh, no, <laughs> mostly mostly in the moment, and and you're always uh, it, it kind of comes off quick. Sometimes you you sound a little uh, dumb, but uh, no, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Uh, and another thing that I've been told quietly is that. Brian Elliott's pretty good on the bench, chirping mm-hmm. at guys. Is that a fair assessment? Is, 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 is Moose, heard, good, I, Moose good there? I haven't heard Moose, but he's awesome on the bench. <laughs> I, I love seeing him. Uh, we we kind of lock eyes when uh, when I'm on the ice and we score a goal. So it's he's uh, he's been really good for for our younger guys, and he's such a good pro, and um, he's a lot of fun to to have on the bench and and in the net. Is there an underrated guy when it comes to chirping, like the, on the team, like somebody who you sit there and like you kind of get surprised, you look over, so. Cube, <laughs> Cube has some funny ones. He he was in the minors and uh, he would be asking me certain things about guys. But uh, he he stood up the last game, I'm trying to think who he's chirping, and I kind of just told him to yeah take a seat. Not not the big boy. You don't go after any big boys. So you you let them uh, chirp each other. But yeah, he's uh, he's pretty funny. So you had a I understand because I was sitting in here I didn't see it but you you and uh, G had a little bit of a mm-hmm. little playful fight there at the end of the yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of practice what was uh, what was that all about? Oh he took me down he uh, <laughs> he wrestled me down I don't know he was staring at me all practice so I said do you want to do something but uh, no it was fun uh, get him ready maybe uh, maybe get someone here. Is that, is that kind of like a th- another thing that kind of builds out of the way that the team's playing right now that you that you can have that kind of fun mm-hmm. at practice and there's not it's very loose yeah it's been a it's been a ton of fun coming to the rank I, I think um, the coaching staff and, and everyone has done a really good job of having days off and and uh, we don't practice as as much as we have in the past right. and um, I think guys are coming to the rank and, and it's a ton of fun to, to come and um, hazy keeps it pretty light in the morning you come in the morning you're getting a good morning but uh, no it's been a ton of fun now, are you involved with the uh, music that goes on in the locker room? I hear that yeah. you have half the time, and Jake has half the time. I go on. Uh, I go on right when I get to the rink, probably around like four twenty, four thirty, and then Jake hops on after the power play meeting. So he'll be on till the thirty minute mark, and uh-huh. then I go back on. So how different are your two styles of music? Completely different. <laughs> it's he's got he's got Bruce Springsteen and ACDC, and I got. Uh, it's more a little house and, and dance music. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it's awesome. It's and what do you so? What do you think? Who, which one do you, uh, you think guys respond to more? Which one do they like more? You think they like you or do they like Jakey better? Or is it is it based on I like think, the older guys go yeah. with him and the younger guys go with you? I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's nice that we we switch it up. And Jakey usually plays his music when everyone's playing Super Bowl and he's in there, so he listens to it pretty loud and um, he gets it going in there. But no, it's. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing the music. I think it kind of gets me involved to uh, staying in the game. That's awesome. Um, uh, one of the things I always try to ask guys uh, about is you know where they you know grow, grow where they grew up. I mean here I mean, this big city in Philly, right? I mean mm-hmm. so we don't know, especially for Canadian guys, like, we don't know anything about like suburban Canada. I mean it's mm-hmm. a lot of farmland. Now you're not too far outside of um, Toronto, Toronto yeah. right? So it's, yeah. you're more like a, just a suburb, right? Mm-hmm. So, but was there anything unique about growing up there? And maybe anybody did you grow up with anybody who's like been playing even real little that is in the league now or yeah I, I grew up playing um well I grew up in Oakville so it's like it would be like the skate zone to, yeah. to downtown so it's 25 30 minutes from Toronto probably an hour and a half with traffic but um <laughs> no it was uh my parents are still in the same home and um I used to go back there in the summers moved out uh, last year first first year so good um it, it's uh it's a lot of fun going back home and and seeing family and all that but uh 
yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Did you buy your own place up there? I bought a place, uh, yeah, uh, just outside of Toronto, so okay. I'm not in the city, but uh, yeah, just outside, closer to my gym and, and all my buddies. But yeah, I had a bunch of buddies growing up uh, playing with Adam Pellix uh, on the Islanders uh -huh. and Connor Brown in Ottawa now. Um, Matt Finn was a high pick. He's over in Austria. So we had a, we have a, a good crew of guys that uh, that played and, and still play pro. Cool. Um, one other question we ask is: uh, are, are you somebody who likes to stream shows on? Are you like a Netflix? Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Netflix guy. Yeah. What, what are you watching? What do people um, want to know? Okay, so I watched. Uh, I got hurt. Uh, with my finger, um, my girlfriend tried to get me to watch Grey's Anatomy for the longest time. I got hooked on it. Did so, you really? Uh, yeah, oh, I just oh, I no. just was, watched that. I know it's bad, but uh, <laughs> I watched that. I'm watching Power right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I watch uh, uh, quite a bit of TV and uh, nice to. Are to you relax. a documentary guy? If you watch I any love documentaries. So, so do you watch like TK was embarrassed to talk about, but we I watch them all too. Do you watch mm -hmm. those true crime? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. They're I pretty, watched, pretty the, awesome. The one documentary I thought was unbelievable was the uh, one, um, the Russian one, where they're doing all the doping. Oh, and, yes. Uh, oh. They go in behind the scenes and yeah, stuff. I, I thought what that it, was cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was really cool, but it's it's nice. I, I, I have a lot of fun watching it. Did you watch Don't F with Cats? Did you see that one? No, I couldn't throw it on. <sighs> yeah. yeah. My dad told me to watch it. My dad's a big TV guy. Yeah. He, he watches all the shows, so he told me to watch it, but... Um, I don't think yeah, it's, well, I, I would say watch it only because it ties into Toronto, mm -hmm. and I mean it takes place in you know in U.S. too, but in, also in Montreal. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's just and it's it goes beyond the cats, mm -hmm. so just don't get by, don't I get, know, don't get know, sucked in just by the I title. Know, I know. <laughs> um, hobbies outside of yeah, you know, when you're not playing hockey, like you know, what do you like to do? Yeah, um, usually in the summer I'll golf pretty much every day. Yeah. Try and get out there, work out, skate, and then um, go out and golf and. Um, usually just relax. I, I yeah. think it's, it's, it's nice to have that downtime in the summer and i um, pretty simple guy. I mean, just go home and, and spend some time with my family and, and girlfriend and um, just relax. What's your handicap? I'm a 10. Yeah. Tried to get, I was a 7 two summers ago. I'll try and get back down, but it's uh, it's nice to have a 10 for a couple matches yeah. that we play in. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's yeah. good. Well, hey, Scotty, continued success. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great season for you so far. Don't thanks let so up. Much. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll do this again down the road. Sounds good. Thanks All right, so thanks much. Thanks again, pal. Thank you.